Recording in progress. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. It is, e well, yeah, it's evening. Uh, grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Um, you will see I am not at work. I am in the network admin garage. Um, see, there's a, there's a truck out there somewhere. There's network admin wife's car. There's the pink flying machine. Yeah, no questions about that. I'll, I'll talk about that some other time. Um, what I wanted to do was make a, uh, a follow-up video to the, to the VPN uh, slowness issue because I've gotten a ton of comments on that So, and some other pretty good questions. So what I thought I would do is uh, kind of give you guys a little more information on how it's all set up and, and why we do what we do. So let me go ahead and share. I'm doing this on a Windows Surface, so I hope this all works out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Share the whole screen. No R2, share it all. All right, let's get that out of the way. Let's open up a little bit of Microsoft Paint. And actually, you know what I'm probably going to do here is... I'm going to turn off my video for just a second and just let you look at the screen. So, because I'm going to be flipping this thing around and I don't want you guys to get uh, motion sick. So, the uh, what we have is our we have these remote radiologists and they're out at their their remote offices and uh, they work on something they call bunker machines. Um, I don't know why they call them that, they just do. And uh, basically what we have is, uh, let's see, let's see if I can do some Microsoft Paint magic. So out there we got these, it's like a, uh, I don't know what they are. I think they're a VMware workstation. CV. Nope, that's not a V, is it? VMware workstation. So that's what they have out there. And um, so they have, you know, different VMs running in there. Um, you know, they'll have one for um, hospital one. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not a very good artist. They have another one for hospital two. And then we'll say they've, then there's our virtual machine for our hospital. Um, now they're supposed to keep these other virtual machines powered off. So theoretically that that's what they're doing. Um, and they're only running one at a time. So now inside that virtual machine, let me do a different color here. They've got, um, and well, first of all, let me, let me say that the, the virtual machine that they are running is, uh, first of all, it's windows seven. Yeah. Um, and then on that Windows 7 machine, we've got our Global Protect client that they run. So now, and then they have, uh, let's see, let's use a cloud here. So there's their ISP, and then there's our ISP. And their, their ISPs, um, they are either um, AT&T or Comcast. Our ISP is either AT&T or Utility Telephone. Um, and then what they are, what they connect into normally, and here, let's, Let's find a nice hospitaly color. Let's go with green. So over on this side is our hospital. And what we got is we've got we've got my firewall. And then inside we've got my internal network, all my VLANs. They they essentially hit the, the radiology VLAN. So they're going to come into the firewall hit the radiology VLAN, and then hanging off that radiology VLAN are the servers that they use. And for the purposes of our tests, this, this server here is, um, that I set up, it's an iPerf 
it's a, it's a uh, Linux box that's just running iperf. So I'm just going to say it's an iperf server. But they have other servers that they hit there that they download uh, radiology images from. So what they do is um, from Global Protect, they hit their ISP, come over, hit our ISP, goes into our firewall through either AT&T or utility telecom, goes for a VLAN, hits the server. That's what they do. So when it's working with AT&T and everything is normal, they say there's no problems, not having any issues at all. Um, every once in a while, we're owned by a county and our county has board of supervisor meetings and they televise those over the internet. And then our AT&T internet gets really slow. Um, so we told them, hey, you can start using this utility telephone uh, circuit as a backup. Now, initially it was 100 meg and they said, that's too slow. That's too slow, that's too slow. We've, we've tried using it, it's too slow. Your AT&T is too slow and the backup's too slow. So we said, okay, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna, we're gonna bump that up. So what we did is we made it into a three mega, uh, 300 megabits uh, surface. Uh, MBPS. So that's upload and download. It's a balanced circuit, 300 meg. There's no like, you know, we get 300 megabits down and 30 megabits up. It's 30, 300 megabits up, 300 megabits down is, is what we get from that. We had uh, utility telephone come in and test it using an, an iPerf server uh, at their central office. And they brought a laptop out and they tested the circuit back to their central office. And it is indeed 300 megabit circuit. I've seen that, I've witnessed it, no problem. Um, <laughs> so now we get to this guy. His, <laughs> okay, I mean, let me switch to a different, well, no, I'll keep it that. His ISP provides, um, oops, didn't mean to do that with my finger. This is hard to draw in, man. So they do, they get 300 megabits down only 35 up sorry that's kind of messy but you know what i mean 30, 300 megabits down 35 megabits up and i know that because he just sent me a speedtest.net screenshot that showed me that um okay so that's what he gets this is what we get and this is both um download and upload 300 megabits. So what we did the other day is I had him test. I had him uh, load iperf3 over here on this Windows machine. He put iperf on here, three. He loaded that and then he did a test all the way over to the server from iperf3 over to here. And what he was getting and this was with the VPN connected, he was getting um, 30 meg upload and download. Okay, so then we said, hey, try it without the, the VPN. Try it without Global Protect. You know what, I shouldn't do that there. Let me, let me write this different so it's a little more clear. It'll be a little more clear to me. Uh, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the purple line instead. So Global Protect iPerf test, he was getting 30 meg, both upload and download. All right, then we took this iPerf, iPerf, iPerf server and put it on the outside, put that bad boy out here outside of my firewall. And when he tested to here, no VPN involved, no global protect, no firewall. I literally picked the server up, put it on the outside of my firewall, gave it the firewall's IP address. What he was getting was 35 meg upload and download. Does that number look familiar? 
Mm, does that number look familiar at all? Yeah. So, okay, I am uh, I am not a Windows networking guy. I mean, I was once upon a time, but I've, I've forgotten, you know, <laughs> I've forgotten all the bandwidth it uses to, to for doing file sharing. Um, but to me, but but that doesn't even matter. We're just just for the purposes of iperf. I mean, it, it measures upload and download. So, and it it ba basically gives you transfer rates is what it does. Transfer rates and the transfer rate it's it's getting is thirty five. That's the most he was getting at all. But he has three hundred megabit download. But the limiting factor is that thirty five meg upload. So when, he, when you're doing a transfer, like a file transfer, in my mind, and you Windows guys correct me out there, in my mind, the fastest you're gonna get is, is 35. I mean, that, that's as fast as it's gonna go. Um, so that's, that's an iperf server. I mean, the, the servers we actually use um, are called uh, PAX. I forget what it stands for, sorry. Um, PAC servers, they hold uh, X-ray images, MRI images, whatever. The doctors, they load these um, over the uh, Global Protect. They get into our network, they connect to this PAC server, and they look at images, they, they dictate notes, and then they, they save everything back. Um, now, I don't know how the file software actually transfers files. Um, if there's a lot of, uh, if it's TCP, to me, it's there's gonna be, you know, you send the data, you get an ACK, you send the data, you get an ACK. You know, you're gonna get the whole three-way handshake going on. And to, in my mind, that's gonna be limited to 35 meg. It's fa that's the fastest you're ever gonna go. And what we were measuring with Global Protect is 30 meg. So yeah, we're gonna take five meg off for, for you know, VPN overhead, you know, encryption and uh, packet inspection here in the firewall. Um, yeah, so so this this is this is what we're dealing with, um, and and the the last piece of the puzzle I think is going to be that thirty five meg upload. I, I like I said I need to double check and figure out how PAX works. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to some of their engineers and say. Hey, what's what's the limiting factor on transferring those those big file images? Now, normally, if there's like one or two guys on this backup circuit, it's no problem. I mean, if if their their you know transfer rate is limited to to thirty meg over the VPN, it seems like we could have up to ten sessions with no problem on our three hundred meg circuit. Um, but they're complaining when they get five or six on there, so. Yep, I need to talk to PAX. So there's the big mess. Um, you guys can tell me what you think if you have any other ideas. There's been some great ideas out there. Um, I hope my my testing method methodology was was clear enough. IPERF server here, IPERF client, well, IPERF server over here, IPERF client over here. We tested through the B VPN. We got 30 meg transfer rate. We take this server outside, put it outside the firewall, we get 35 meg transfer rate. From his Windows 7 virtual machine running Global Protect on a VMware workstation. And I, I, I can't remember if it's a server class machine or not. I think it's just a high-end workstation type machine. And it's not the newest hardware. So, um, and I know some people have said that I've been more, way more accommodating than they would have been. And yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Um, but I want to do everything I can to make sure the problem isn't on my end. So yeah, that's where we sit. So uh, here, hang on. Let me, get, uh, let me get you guys staring back at my ugly mug here. There's my ceiling. Let's get, get this set up again. Sorry about the thumb. Sorry about the uh, bad view. There we go. What is that? Where did you come from? Where did my mouse go? There you are. 
get you out of the way. So there you are. What, what do you guys think of this? Um, what, what am I missing? What, what should I be looking at? Um, I'm just looking at this and the way he's set up and the way I'm set up and the testing we've done, I'm done. <laughs> I don't know what else I can do, but um, my CIO is, is not going to see it that way. So uh, yeah, we're, uh, let me stop sharing. So yeah, we've, we've, we've got a, we got a situation. Um, yeah, like I said, the last thing I can do is check with the, the PAX software vendor and see, you know, what their expectation, what, what their file transfer rate would be, what they would expect. So, and if they agree with me, uh, I'm going to tell this guy, we're done. You know, if, if, if you think you can get a faster uh, internet service provider, why don't you order it and have it installed at the hospital and then you can manage it and if it's slow you can take care of it you know if if i'm so inept i can't do it then why don't you do it so yeah anyway there you have it um i hope that sheds a little more light on what the whole vpn issue looks like with these guys now bear in mind we have a lot of vpn users out there probably close to 100 at any one time no other complaints nobody's complaining just these guys so uh yeah all right well that's it for this week's video guys keep those great comments coming you've, you've given me some great ideas and i really appreciate that because i i don't think i'm the smartest guy in the world you you some of you people might think i'm that smart <laughs> i'm not <laughs> i'm just some dumb schmuck trying to make his way in the world so <laughs> Anyway, that's it for this week's video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, as always, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and um, God bless. We'll see you all next week. Oh, now I got to figure out how to stop this thing. Uh, okay, let's stop recording. What the heck is that? There you go. Stop. Bye.